talking, Amanda, we took that question to a health policy expert at U Indian. She points to uncertainty, uncertainty with the future of the health care law, and that is driving up premiums for the two providers left on the marketplace here in Indiana to nearly $500 per month. Photos show Linda Rowan enjoying some time away in Florida. Although she's making time to relax, she's also got her budget on her mind. I have several health issues. I have lupus, I have an aneurysm, and I've had to have some CAT scans and um, MRI. Rowan had planned to switch providers after learning Anthem is pulling out of the marketplace for 2018. Now she's preparing to pay more. The state is approving rate increases for the two remaining providers, CareSource and MHS, of 20 and about 36 percent respectively. Sometimes it's a choice between your medicine uh, going, uh, and I've even cut back from going to the doctor just so I wouldn't have, you know, a, a lot of medical bills. So it, it, it's, it's not good. UND's director of public health programs says uncertainty is to blame for the rising premiums. One question is whether the federal government will continue to provide cost sharing reductions for people in the lowest income brackets. The subsidies reduce co-pays and out of pocket costs. Then insurance companies are left trying to figure out, OK, if, if we aren't going to get that money from the government, how are we going to make up that difference? Another uncertainty is whether a requirement for everyone to get insurance will be enforced. We rely on those healthy people paying into the premiums to, to do that cost sharing among all of us, right? So we absolutely need those healthy people paying into these this money for the insurance companies to help offset some of those costs for the older and the sicker individuals. Rowan will be eligible for Medicare next August. In the meantime, she plans to meet with a health insurance navigator to figure out her next move. And many people who have plans on the health insurance marketplace do get tax credits to help offset those premium costs. Keep in mind, though, she tells us that you, Indy health policy expert, that she thinks that premiums for a lot of other people, including those with employer sponsored plans, will also go up next year. So we'll continue to follow this. For now, we're live. Katie Hines, RTV6. Katie,